You don't have to be sad, you just have to have your own. Not yours. We do this every time. Are we doing this with every lamb today? Look what you did. Ooh. Whoa, you're keeping everyone here in suspense. Oh. Come on, please be alive. Good morning. I do like this time of morning because uh, the birds aren't awake yet. Crickets are awake, but they're awake all night. Good morning, Mama. One. Two. I had my eye on you yesterday. Have you progressed? Nope. Soon. I think she's gonna lamb very soon. She's making noise. She's very close. There's a lot of closeness. Sad, you just have to have your own. How many you got in there? <coughs> I forgot to check you this morning. So this is the you yesterday that just try to steal every lamb possible so I did put her in a lambing pen. I don't like doing this before they lamb. I like them to have room to move and nest for lambing but I she was just becoming kind of a bit of a nightmare so she got put into there. She has sunk in quite a bit today so soon hopefully. Got a you that just uh, dropped back here started pushing. Good morning. Well, she's a one coffee kind of gal. Hi, baby. Good mommy. That was quick. I have been watching you. You're a sneaky little pusher. I think you might need help. I might just do an internal on her. Mama, you're gonna have to move, sweetie. Can you get out? Mama, no, not yet. Soon. Not yours. Not yours. We do this every time. There you go. Come on. Now you. I'm gonna let her be. I would imagine she's got more in her. Um, but this one, I've had my eye on for like since last night. So I just, uh, I'm not convinced there's not something going on. Yeah, that's a backwards mm. lamb. I feel a tail. Oh, and a head. We got both. Let's take the backwards one up first. I'm not sure how much you just caught of all that, but we just had bit of a rescue mission here. I probably should have checked this you last night when I saw her hollowed out. I saw a wee little bit of blood on her, on her, like under her tail a bit, but she wasn't laying down, she wasn't presenting, and usually I give them a chance 
to show me that they're in active labor before I do an internal. I was like, oh, she's just probably just starting and by morning, there'll be lambs. When there was no lambs, I was like, hmm. But she's a quiet, quiet you. She just doesn't want me to see when there's distress. So we had three lambs. This one took a long time to revive. I'm still not 100% sure. We got a heartbeat and it's strong, so that's good. The second one, same thing, came out really kind of weak they're not their lungs don't feel raspy it doesn't feel like it doesn't sound like there's fluid on their lungs but they just haven't been able to get that first breath like they're really fighting for a first breath and then the white one popped out last so kind of different sizes again which i'm gonna have to revisit my feed sheet make sure i didn't miss anything but i'm gonna let mom do her best cleaning them off because they probably won't take a bottle at this point point. and while that was happening Mama spit out two more. One. And two. What are you trying to get up? Good girl. Also, last night, we lost our little nugget. Not surprisingly, it didn't have colostrum for like its first 12 hours of life. And without colostrum, I had hope. We kept it alive till about 8 o'clock. And then uh, when Chris came to do night check, I lifted the towel to see how, how he was doing. And uh, he was gone. So that was, I was, I'm not surprised, but it's always sad. Uh, the other thing I want to do, uh, the white lamb drank out of the bottle, but the other two wouldn't. So I'm, when they don't drink, I just like to take a temp just to make sure they uh, they didn't get cold already. So not surprising, this uh, the, the one that was the struggle bunny, uh, its temp is 35.3. The bigger one, the black one, was 37.5. So, um, and she was already trying to, she or he was already trying to get up and drink. So this one's pretty lethargic still. I'm gonna soak it in a, I'll show you. So what I'm going to do, because I want all of mom's fluids still on this lamb in case I reintroduce them. Now she has three, so I may not, just depending how this one comes along. But uh, so why I put them in a bag before I put them in the water is just so that stays. So it's temp, if it was any lower, if it was not registering, I would do a dextrose treatment. All right, so we're gonna put it in here to warm it up. It's nice warm water. So we'll leave, I forgot to check if it's a her or him, but we'll leave it in here for um, five minutes or so. And I got the heating pad on, so that's warming that little warming box up. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to take baby out of the bath. In a very weak lamb, that's for sure. Yeah, let's get you warmed up. Oh, how's my blanket doing? I have to know what I'm trying to save here. You're a girl. Alright. I'm gonna keep her in here. I bet you it won't take long to warm her up. <coughs> what is going on here? <coughs> Work like a charm. <coughs> Didn't it? Oh, that's music to my ears. How you doing? You're nice and warm. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh, you want a bottle? Oh, you're so close. Come on. Come on. I don't want to tube you. You're going to make me tube you? Seriously? I mean, if you get a temperature up in a lamb and they still don't have a sucking reflex, there's something a little bit wrong up here. I mean, we can do what we can do, but... I also can't fight nature. Let's get you tubed, then. I'll show you what my setup here is for tubing. I run hot water through my tube first to get it pliable and then I usually put it about here depending on the lamb size but maybe I'll put it there you ready the good thing about this tube it's got a mark as to how far to go in because 
I think that was always my problem why I hated tubing lamps because I'm like I never know how far to go and then I just kind of feel the throat and I can feel it go right in and if they fight you pull it out <laughs> I mean they're gonna fight a bit see how good that is that's what would be in the bottle there There, down the hatch. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? Go back in here? I don't think mom's feeling that great, so I don't want to put you back there quite yet. I'll put you back in here for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Did they, so, one and one? Yes. Okay. That's not your baby. Yeah, that's your baby. You wonder why they get confused in the middle of the night. Or when I'm confused when I get in here. I don't think she did lamb. I think those are both hers. Yeah, you're lambing right now. Okay. Honestly, turn off the camera and you spit them out. What you did okay so we have decided that she indeed just had one and she had two her milk is actually it looks better the quality's better so I'm like I'm gonna leave those two with her and actually they're the same size whereas this one's huge so I'm thinking one two um, this mama that had those triples this morning I'm just the one lamb looks to be hopefully just in a food coma because that doesn't look great. And mom is cleaning out, but she kind of all of a sudden looks a little depressed. So I'm gonna give her an antibiotic and a shot of Medicam, a painkiller, just to get her perked up again. Ladies really do like to lamb right when it's lunchtime. <laughs> Supper time, lunchtime, breakfast, all the times. But we are down to 12. She was number 13. Another really dirty lamb. We had one yesterday, yesterday. And it's just uh, meconium. They poop in their water sack and it gets all over them. It's quite gross. I think what I've heard is just means mom's been in labor for a bit. But I just saw her pop out her water bag maybe half an hour ago. So this hasn't been that long. Big Mama's just uh, the assistant cleaner, assistant hygienist. Just don't fall in love with her. Well, I always know when someone's lamb because uh, our chief shepherdess, Big Mama, is not too far behind them. Those aren't yours. You have to have yours. You're keeping everyone here in suspense. Not yours. No. We'll do that, please. They're hers. She gave me two. Yours are still right there. <laughs> right there. Listen. You. I think I signed off here before lunch, before this mom had her second lamb. So she did indeed have a twin.
I see you. You did good. Yep, you're a pro. And I would imagine that's the only one you're having because it's big. she did it better? She's still sucky? Yeah, something must have scared her back there. Huh. I think Mama needed some moral support. Oh, yeah. I saw you pushing. Does that mean I can look? Oh. Remember that you? The stealing you from yesterday, not the stealing you from today. She's lovely. The stealing you from yesterday that was like bowling Carissa and I off her feet. I think she was in labor yesterday and I never checked her because I've been trying to, you know, let them do it on their own and wait till they're in active labor and do all the things. So I put her in this pen and we watched her all day. Like I was tagging right here all day yesterday and she never got down, she never pushed. She was chit chatting a lot because she fell in love with another lamb yesterday morning. So I just thought they were talking back and forth. But I think Little Miss might have been in labor, and today, uh, when I did an internal, she was already closing shop. Either that or she never dilated. I, I'm not sure which. The back joint, like leg joint, was right at the cervix, so it was popping out. Um, all the weight of the lamb was right there, and she was, and she was tight, 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 because she's not barely dilated, or maybe had already like started contracting in. I don't know if you, I don't know if she'd do that. Um, and when I stuck my hand in there, when I finally got it in there, it was dry. So anyway, uh, it came out, it took maybe three gasps of air and then nothing. And its eyes came out already glazed over. Again, kind of regret not just checking. And I always check, but I just wasn't convinced with her that she was in labor, but. And of course, I tried to give her the lamb she fell in love with yesterday, back to her today and she wouldn't have anything to do with it. And she's full of milk. <laughs> a girl. Good girl. The only issue with her is that she's still sitting real high. But I'm gonna put a glove on because she just reminded me that it never hurts to check. So I did make sure all, and sure enough, the lamb is coming out backwards. <laughs>
come on, please, please, please. Please take a breath, please, please, please. Hi. Hi. Can you help me out here? Hi. I saw that. Don't you even think about it. Don't look at the light. We want you here. Yeah. How's that? There you go. Come on. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't 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 die. Don't die. Please don't. Die. Mama, she's gone. Okay, there's one thing I want to try. Said this one wasn't getting enough off the mom. So, putting it on this one. I would have done this with the other mom. This is the one I tried, but she had no fluids. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, big mama. We'll see how this works out. Some people actually tie the legs up so the lamb can't run away. But the lamb also may want food, so this may work. Do you want to get up, honey? Good girl! Look at the lamb. Look at this. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Bingo. Look at that. Happy baby. Good big mama. Well, it wasn't a complete waste. This is like the greatest ending to a not so great day. In love. Well, I have had front row seats watching this little performance in my cameras. And you are as cute as I thought you were in the camera. Look at you. Hi, Mom. You did good. Gorgeous. Hi.
Hi. Hey, I just came in because I've been watching her, and uh, so she's been up and down and bellering, and I'm like, the, oh yeah, that's it, so it was. Mama. Yeah, this that's, is the nice one, yeah. but the stealer from yesterday over there, I checked her first because I'm like, I better check her just to make sure. Yeah. I don't feel anything, Carissa, but... What did I feed today? So yeah, so then I put this, I, I was able to foster that lamb you said wasn't drinking, yeah. and it went right on her. I actually tried her on the stealer, the other stealer first, because she's the, she's the one that liked those lambs. She did not like it today. She's done. She's like, my hormones have worn off and I don't want anything to do with it. So then I put it here. I'm like, oh, Chris can be so happy. Meanwhile, I have all these triplets that I could put with her. You are trying to eat my mama. Just be gentle. Oh, you're so cute. Just one. Already up. Yeah. <laughs>